this is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> Hello there, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So today I have a pottery wheel. It's pretty short. I've actually got it on top of a printer box. I've had to take my like lowest chair. I can't have it any higher than this because it's got a little pedal. So technically it's supposed to be on the ground, but also I don't wanna get neck and back ache by doing this. So we'll see if this works. <laughs> okay, so this pottery wheel was fairly cheap. I got it from Amazon, of course. It did come with some tools. Then we got these. This, the, these are to make textures on the, on the pottery. I know that much, but that's all I know. <laughs> the sponge helps to get the water out of the pottery because you need to use a semi-decent amount of water to get it like wet. This is honestly childhood me is very excited about this because when I was a kid, the only real experience I had with actual clay and carving something was without a wheel. And I made a ring holder for my mum, which was like a little pot very wonky pot with like a stick in the middle. It was pretty bad. So I did actually, in fact, find some pretty cool pottery pieces. I want to try and recreate at least two anyway. I want to try and recreate two that I found. There's this one, which is like a rounded, like oval pot with a very, very thin neck. I feel like this is going to be very, very difficult to do. And I'm probably going to need to use a tool, a tool to like make it hollow inside. But I don't know. I just wanted to make something really, really strange. I also really want to try and make a bowl, like a really nice, fancy looking bowl. I don't have a lot of hope <laughs> or like faith in myself to make this look decent. So yeah, I think the best way to start is just to get into it. See. I did buy some clay. I hope this is the right kind. I do in fact need though some water. Let me get some water. You need to make sure the bottom doesn't have a concave in it. Otherwise there's gonna be like an air bubble underneath and that's not good apparently. So I'm gonna like put it into the somewhat weird shape that he told me that I should put it into. So like more curved at the bottom like that. You're also not supposed to put water down first otherwise it can slide around. So people that say I don't do my research. I did my research. Right. Okay, that's there. My bowl of water's over here, very prepared. Okay, so, oh shoot, my stupid chair keeps pushing it. So, water. Oh, no, it's smoothing around. Okay, I need to do it slower. Wait, okay, I'm going to try and smooth it down onto the metal. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, it keeps sliding. Some people said to have something down. Someone else said that you didn't need to. So I'm a little confused. The sound is quite disturbing. Oh, look at that! I made the smudge. Let's add some more water. Oh, this is very messy. This is very messy. This is very messy. Right, so they say you should make it go up first. This requires a lot of body strength. This is nuts. I don't want water on the base. That's why I didn't put water there. Maybe I need to put just actual clay down. I'm gonna smooth this clay out on the bottom. So that was our first piece of pottery. Put it back there as decoration. Let's try again and hope for the best. Mount Crumpet from the Grinch. Okay, I think this is smoothed down enough. I think. This is. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Let's try and add that back on. <laughs> okay, that doesn't look too bad. So you're supposed to pull it upwards. I don't know how. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wow, that looks, in that's really good. I don't think I've got enough clay. Or am I just really bad at this? What? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to make a little gumdrop. Okay, so I'm not sure if you've noticed by now, but my cool phone case, look at it. It's so awesome. It's from Casetify, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. I'm obsessed with this case. A lot of you probably know by now how much my phone gets abused during my painting processes and my crafts, including this one. Now, I actually go through cases quite a lot because of this. And my most recent case that I was using for my phone caused this to happen, which was fantastic. Love that. My phone fell out of my pocket. Yes, it was in a case. And yes, this still happened. 
So introducing the literal best case I have ever owned. Now Casetify's new impact and ultra impact cases, ultra impact has these little nodules on the sides, are made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. Also their Chitec 2.0 technology offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet for the ultra impact case. So I can do this with an already cracked phone and I don't have to worry about it. See, perfect, nothing wrong with it. Their cases are also wireless charging and 5G compatible. They carry a huge variety of phone cases, colours and designs to fit your every single mood. You can choose from their selection of curated prints and you can even personalise a case with your favourite font and design layout for a custom case just like I did here. Another great benefit is that their Ultra Impact and Impact cases are 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. The cases also feature Defensify which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria and prevents bacteria from sticking to the case surface. And since Apple just released the new iPhone 13, if you're getting it you should definitely get a new Casetify case to protect your phone. Don't make the mistakes that I have in the past. It also makes for great gifts for family and friends. So if you would like to get one for yourself or your loved ones go to casetify.com slash Chloe Rose to save 15% off your new iPhone 13 case. And thank you so so much to Case to Five for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I'm gonna try and lift it now. Is my, my hand supposed to look like this? This seems like excessive clay. You put it forward apparently, and then down, and you wanna center it. It means it's centered when your hands don't move anymore. Let's try to make it, let's try to like make a hole in it. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's try again. in. Oh. Okay, I made a little pot. Ooh. It's off center. Oh, I'm mad because it was looking pretty good and then I, f I screwed it up. Ta-da! I made a bowl. It doesn't look very good. It's very, very wonky. There's a big lump in the middle, but I did it. I made a bowl. I'm going to put that back here as well with our masterpieces. <laughs> Like I knew it would be difficult, but I didn't expect it to be this difficult. I just don't think it's normal that my hands look like this too. Like this seems excessive. Am I using too much water maybe? That would probably make logical sense. Let me try watching somebody again, because I'm clearly doing something wrong here. Okay, so now I've got a bit more clay. I've watched the video again and his is very impressive. I mean, he's like a professional like person, so he knows what he's doing. Why do I always make lumps on top? Okay, so we're creating a seal at the bottom with my little finger. Okay, so we want to cone it now. How are you coning it? Do you have like supersonic strength? You're supposed to cone, apparently, which is when you pull it up to be a weird shape. No, that's not it. Ah! Why is that happening? Why did it do that? Okay, please stop talking. Please stop talking. Okay, so what I'm supposed to do is lift it, cone it, both hands. Okay, that looks terrible. Stop moving! Okay, gonna start once more, once again. You will work, or you won't, you'll just sit there and just do that. I hate this pedal. I'm going to I'm going to literally like throw something at this pedal. This is the worst one yet. This is our third attempt. It sucks. So we're going to put that there. We're going to try again for the 5 millionth time. So I've decided coning isn't for me. I literally physically can't do it. <laughs> So I'm not going to worry about coning it because that's just to make it central and let's face it nothing I do is going to look central no matter how hard I try. So that requires more time and practice than I have right now. So we're just going to do our best. 
This probably is not going to work too well because it's going to be uneven. I made a plate. It's very nice, isn't it? What do you think? Shame it's not what I was going for. Well, there's that pot I was trying to create. Looks good, huh? That looks just like it. I think we're gonna try and make a bowl though, because that's that's still not good. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm not even I'm not even joking. This is literally, I think, the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life. So currently I have a bunch of clay on both of my cameras and I don't have a single piece of pottery that looks good. They all look terrible. I thought I'd at least be able to make a bowl or something, but honestly, this is just not wanting to work. I don't know what to do. Like obviously I'm an amateur, but I can't even make a bowl. Okay, let's try again. I've been watching tutorials of how you do it. It's just so difficult to do. Like it's insanely difficult to do. So he uses one hand to seal the bottom with his little finger. So there's like a seal so it doesn't move. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. He's using his other hand to press this hand. Okay, so got this weird ball thing and now Ah, see I can... ah! Obviously not distributing my hands right. I'm trying to go a little slower with it to see if maybe I'll be able to make something if I was making it a little slower. Like they're professionals, so they're obviously doing it a lot faster. That's nice. So what he does is he takes two thumbs, like right in the middle, like this. Okay, so I made a hole in the clay. So I've made some progress. Uh, now I'm gonna try and widen it a little bit, but without making it too thin. Okay, this is a bowl shape. It is not good. It looks like garbage, but I made a bowl. Look at that. I am not that impressed because children at school could do this easily, but you know, I think I made it worse. I made it worse, but that's fine. Very nice wonky ass bowl. It's times like this you think, Chloe, just give up. Just give up. I'm gonna start over. I know I'm crazy, but I'm not happy with it. I'm gonna try again. Okay, now I'm gonna stretch it out. Okay, I've got a dodgy little bowl. At least I made one though. You can tell how wonky it is by how it moves when it spins. <laughs> so it's not the best, but I'm kind of afraid to do anything further with it. There's a lot of gaps and this kind of looks like the thing I made when I was 10, but almost worse. So yeah, solid one out of 10. I need something to remove it without destroying it. It's too weak, like no bowl is good like this. It needs to be thicker. I made it way too thin, but that's okay. At least I made something. <laughs> How much, oh, and you know what? I could use a card or something, a piece of card. I'll use the scroll box menu. Right, here's my bowl. You can clearly see it has a lot of issues. This is gonna be the first one I'm gonna call as a half success. Um, half success because it actually somewhat looks like a bowl, not a success because it also doesn't look like a bowl. It looks fine. I really wanna make a good job though. So let's try making a vase now, shall we? A nice vase. He's got a big chunk. He's got like a massively big chunk. I'm wasting so much clay right now, but it's okay. It's all for the good of the channel. I'm liter literally covered in clay. This is awful. Okay. I feel like I can smell burning skin. I'm not sure if it's my skin against the metal of this pottery thing. Wait, hang on, how are these people do it? The guy literally did it in 30 seconds. How are these people human? Ah, stay. No, you've got concaves. Stop moving. Ugh. Okay. Whew. Okay. Ugh. No, that was that was wrong. <laughs> no, the stupid pedal. It won't stop. Okay, we're gonna try again. 
This is my last attempt now before I go 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 and leave and cry. I put way too much water on this, I can tell. When you hear that sound, it's not a good sound because I think it means you've got lots of gaps. Okay, there we go. Got a weird looking pot. It's wonky. I don't really want to touch it now because I'm scared to ruin it even more. At this point, I'm just, I've just given up. I made a volcano. <laughs> There we go. It's a weird looking pot. I made that. This one isn't too bad. Honestly, I kind of want to, can I use old clay that I've already gotten wet? Is that something you can do? I'm going to try it anyway, because I'm running out of clay. I've got... Okay, we've got a big lump. Now, with our big lump, just gonna make a hole. Oh, 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 this has potential. Okay, it has potential, but I have so much clay on my hands, it's disrupting the detail. Okay, I'm gonna be slow with this. Ah, uh -huh, no! Okay, I appear to be an amateur bowl maker. And when I say amateur, I think that's actually too much of a compliment. <laughs> ah, nuts, it came off. I made another bowl. It's probably slightly neater than my other bowl, at least, but it's still not great. I don't really know what the heck I'm doing because this is it. This is the best I could do. In the friggin' two hours that I've been filming this video, that's the best I could come up with. I wanna make a pretty vase or like an ugly vase some sort of vase or base but I just can't like I can't seem to make things very it's just this is so hard this is without a doubt the hardest thing that I've ever done and I mean that pottery artists you have my respect I mean you already did but like exceptionally more so now this is hard this is very difficult because even though I'm following the instructions exactly I literally cannot for the life of me get this to like move the way that I want it too because I'm just I guess so inexperienced that I just don't really know what I'm doing to the point where no matter how hard I try it's not going well right we we'll use my last bit of clay now he just throws it on there he gets a bunch of water would you let me see it's not it's not sticking like at all I'm wiping it off so it's not wet This feels damp. I wonder if it's because this was in the garage for a while, if it actually somehow got damp. I'm just trying to find excuses now as to why I suck so bad at this. Okay, it's kind of going on now. And this guy's already made a pot while I've been sat here. Okay, so it's a pretty pot. I don't know how you, you these bits though. It's probably because it's not centered. That's why it does this. Okay, one last attempt. I'm trying to make a vase. Ah! This is so stupid. Okay, so I made a really lumpy bowl. The neck I'm struggling with a lot, but it's okay. I think it's never gonna be very good. Ah, nuts, it came off again. Okay, I, I give up. I give up, honestly. We have a broken Winnie the Pooh honey pot. It is exceptionally wonky. Uh, it, I could paint it literally as the Winnie the Pooh honey pot. That could work. I really want to try this again, but when I'm less annoyed at myself for not doing a very good job. So if you would like to see a part two of this, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I think this is the best I've been able to do. It's wonky as heck. But this is hard. Like, don't judge me unless you've tried this. This is very, very difficult. So thank you so much for watching this 
this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks, feel free to send them my way. I will watch more YouTube videos. Like I say, I did watch a few and I understand the techniques. It's just actually applying them is very difficult. And I feel like a lot of this would improve if I did it more. But yeah, for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much to Case to Buy for sponsoring today's video. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Stop moving.